Hello and welcome back to the best captain of the Deadfire. I'm never sharing the loot with my uh, crewmates. They are all injured and tired and we have no supplies whatsoever, no repairs and uh, well no medicine. The ship is kind of sailing and maybe it's time to go for another attack of some unaffiliated galleon. Hey, after that Let's close board, give no quarter. I don't know what that is. Apparently that guy likes books. Hole damage? Pfft. Easy. We suffered some crew damage. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. We gotta take these suckers down. But after this raid, actually, not necessarily, but after this raid, maybe. Maybe it's time to go to a friendly port and say like, hey, what's up? Uh, can I buy some uh, supplies? But if we get some supplies from this guy, scratch that. The injured crew is gonna repair the ship. No problem. Well, they're eating rice and drinking some water, so I don't know. I, I, they can't really complain. Can you, can you really complain? I don't think they can. I think sometimes they even drink ale. I know. How crazy is that? <laughs> Why can't we take their ship? What is this? Ironclad golems? Damn. Uh oh. They're coming in. Be less fan, the truly insane. What kind of target? That's a pretty good target for that. Apology is not attacking. Wait, am I controlling them? Doesn't seem like it. They just they are just not interested. It's okay guys. Oh they're attacking them. No can do. You guys got this? They're just waiting for an attack. <laughs> These things are immune to fire, but other than that, we're good. A firewall? That's always so annoying. I think we might need to get out of it. What is that? Shiza? I can make Palagina get out of it. Uh, yeah, you attack, okay. Ironclad construct. Sure thing. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. The mage is already dead. Yeah, take it down, constructs. I can't even go there. Someone who can attack? Hey, can we just attack the constructs? Maybe this guy, he's... He's stuck. <clears throat> he got interrupted while doing his special attack. Come on, Construct, come back. This thing isn't doing the job. Can't get a clean hit. Got him. Ooh, what is that? Exceptional garbage? Super bond? Ah, I guess. We're taking it all. Share coins with the crew? Nah. Come on, guys. Don't be greedy. There's gotta be one day when we're gonna find a ship that has nothing in it. And I'm gonna say, share it with the crew. And they're gonna be like, Wow, Captain! Best day ever! This is not that day, though. That guy had something. Poor dead like that is... Uh, a place that I need to check out eventually but I don't think it should be right now can we find some repair supplies oh my god really you guys better repair the ship now am I gonna use this as an excuse to okay that, that's still not a lot that's looks like it's gonna be like enough for like 
a little bit of health. We still need to go back to Port Maya and seriously, we have no excuse not to. Unaffiliated merchant sloop. Port Maya. Now. Yeah, I know that we repaired. Come on, game. You don't have to show this to me. I'm just gonna pause. So, we do have one mission that fires southwest. Sail to Fort Deadlight and kill. What? Oh. I mean, kill Asyla, Wave Skipper, and take her ship. Amazing! Best mission ever! But ship's triumph? That's probably the flag. Who cares? Voyager River Dragon. Now that's that's a cool ship. As much as I like the Defiant, uh, reminding me of uh, Deep Deep Space Nine. Uh, we probably don't care about it too much. Northeast Port Maya apparently. Okay, <clears throat> Maya has a stack of missives intended for her eccentric Ruatayan colleague Tuhaha. Tuhaha can be fought at Port Maya. So we need to land at Port Maya. Maybe get supplies first. Obvious... What? Why you guys don't like me? This makes no sense. Is it because I just sunk one or two ships? These guys love me. Wait, they still like me? This is bullshit. <laughs> hey, friendly price! Only plus 20%! Screw you guys. Okay, uh, 50, 50, 50, 50. Oh, that's pretty pricey actually. Whatever. 5,400, that's insane. Can I just go, go into Port Maya and get a more favorable? Deal? I'm gonna leave. I just go into Port Maya Harbor. I don't know where this guy is. Yeah, we're going in the harbor. And we're gonna have a bottom one with the harbor master. Like, hey, mister, do you really wanna sell stuff to me for plus 20%? Uh, didn't you, uh, maybe I could entice you to instead, like, Go like minus 20%. Like, I'm such a cool guy around here. <laughs> Damn, I don't know why I want to be such a pirate. Well, not, not really going out of my way to be a pirate. I'm just um, <clears throat> attacking anyone I see now. <laughs> well, at least when it comes to ships. Oh, we're back. Wonder if Wanglet's still in a mood. Wanglet? Henry. Swords. Show me what you got. Discounted items. I, I think that really applies to everybody in this place. Shattered Vengeance. Are they mostly selling garbage? Fresh fish. Galleon? Isn't that the guy we are supposed to talk Master, with? You I'm on the next ship out of here. Unless you're here to kick me off the docks this time. Fishmonger. All right, I'll We tear. have supplies here for the paying customer. Provisions for the road, perhaps? Uh, let's see what you have. Have a look. Damn it. She's giving me the same deal in my face. She is fearless. You know what? And I take it. Good for you. Fellow Warren Grimoire. Ah, uh, we should have bought the fancy grimoire. Eh, whatever, let's buy that. Ah, okay. We have enough repair and medicine. Hopefully the crew is gonna repair the ship while we are running around here. Looking for <clears throat> Barati. What? No, not Barati. Not Barati. Where's the guy? The still a... Okay, that that's one reward. Um, it's that fire, Brass Citadel. Tuaha. 
why can it be more descriptive? So if I was a guy called Tuaha, how well, are we supposed to fight a giant? Do we know that it's a guy? We don't know. Why did it show it to Port Maya? Ruta and colleague to Aha. Her. Okay, it's a she. She Be called Ruaha. If I was a she called Ruaha, where the hell would I be? I'm thinking. Uh, not in this place. This place sucks. But the most likely. Hey, Wanglet. Should we check with Wanglet? You watch over her, you hear? That's one of ours whose fate you've taken into your hands. I will. For God's sake, I don't need Nanny and Wangliff. I've reaped more with my two hands than you'll dream in a lifetime. And you've pride in that. Head shaking, she turns to you. Do you see why she needs guarding? You must shield her light. Do not let her lose it or her life. Great. Do you seek a blessing from the light? Nope. Suit yourself. But know that I act only because I care for your soul and salvation. That's good to Go hear. Go and be well. Walk within the light, and you shall not falter. With a flick of her finger, she splatters you with a golden wax. Thanks for that. I can clean that up. And I can't even act uh, mean about it because it was a blessing. You really did me a favor with that one. Anyway, Tuaha, where the hell are you? Tuaha? Please. Oh, I know who, who must know. Toro. Didn't think you'd come back here. Oh. Tell me you wrecked your ship again. No, I didn't wreck my ship. Come on. That never happens. <clears throat> Actually, I like... So oh, this is useless. I was about a to giant. ask about Tuaha. If there is one guy who knows about Tuaha, some random woman in this town, Ruatayan, it's gotta be the innkeeper, right? Isn't she in here? Norgund. Nah. Kind of wasting my time with this one. But it would be good to have some kind of a. Oh! Yeah, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Oh, never mind that. I was just, just about to talk to Maya. Uh, ask where we might be able to find Duaha. Did I just run past Duaha? Never mind that. <clears throat> when Almana clutches the hilt of a long saber sheathed at her belt, her attention moving among uh, passes by without ever settling anywhere for long. She stands at as motionless and watchful as an owl. She turns to Maya and flinches, shaking her head subtly. subtly. Been a while, Twa, huh? You're looking... healthy. Okay. Maya attempts an easy shrug, but it comes off... looking forced. Don't say my name. Is he still here? Twa hisses each word under her breath. She tips her head to indicate just over her shoulder. Oh, Maya didn't tell me that Muha is, uh, Tuaha is insane. Scan the crowd, see if anything stands out. The occasional pedestrian crosses your view, but everyone seems to be going on their business without tarrying for long. Just as you decide to give up, a passing Juana raises his eyes from scribbling on a page of notes. He pockets the parchment and steps back into the obscurity of the crowd. The gesture is innocuous enough, but the speed and ease of it leave you in doubt. You saw that too, right? Yeah. There's no way someone is reading a newspaper or just writing on a parchment. That guy is 100% the spy. Well? Uh, we've got something... What the hell? By Scan's eyes, he's coming. Um, we've Grabbed someone's attention, that's for sure. Alright, let's just feed her paranoia. I knew it. Her grip on the saber tightens. Here's your shadow. I'll string him up by his thumbs before he lays a hand on you. Well, he's obviously not one of ours. Unless Atsura sent someone to monitor me. Must be working for the... other side. 
Dun dun dun. Tuaha aims an anxious glance in your direction. Other side? Maya, care to elaborate? Not everyone in the Deadfire lays out the welcome mat for Rawatai. That shouldn't be any surprise. She frowns, considering. Tuaha, I'm getting you out of this. <clears throat> we pulled each other out of worse snacks. Maya pets Tuaha on the arm in an attempt at encouragement that only causes her to flinch. Easy to say when it's in the past. This stalker is relentless, and he is always watching. Tuaha rubs her palms together. What happened last time? Complications. But that was a long time ago. Maya shares a knowing look with Tuaha. I'm not gonna read those those lines like Seraphin strokes his braided beard beneath a quiet smirk, so the nibbles on her lips to hide a spreading smile. I mean, it would be nice to see these uh um these displayed, I suppose. But like reading about it, I just feel like it just doesn't add too much. No need to relive ancient history. What can you tell me about whoever is following you? He's Juana, average height, and I've caught him scribbling on a sheaf of notes. <gasps> An average Juana. Like any good tale, he's indistinguishable from anyone else wandering around Port Marge. Probably why they picked him for the job. Average guys, holy crap! Better than average chance of getting hired as a as a spy. We'll find your stalker and get rid of him, one way or another. Just take your missive and go. What are you doing that has him so curious? Company business. Maya and Tuaha blink as they say it as at the same time. Company business. What the hell? Tuaha clears her throat into her fist. I gotta know, okay? I gotta work with all the information. There's no option to say that? We'll find your stalker and get rid of him, one way or another. He's dead. Sit tight and I'll get this sorted out. Whatever happens, he won't bother you again. Just try not casual. Maya gives her an encouraging shrug. I will stand perfectly still and fill my heart with the words of our national anthem. Oh, I hate you. Duaha nods, resolute. That's... yeah, that's exactly what I meant. So... how do we... find this particular person? Do we have any leads? Tua suspects she's being followed and won't accept Maya's missive until her stalker is dealt with. She describes him as an average looking Juana Mea. I believable. Hey, have you seen any average looking oh. Juana Meas around here? Just kidding. Maybe this guy, Galleon. I'm on the next ship out of here. Fishmonger. We have many fish here. Docks this time. Do, do you know no about contest. average looking Juana Mayas? We have supplies here. Do you have webbed fingers and I can't oh. swim? Can I loot? You are a strange man. Suppress affliction. Yeah, I just <clears throat> leave that. So if I was an average looking Juana male, God damn it, the game gives me no information. <laughs> Like literally the the idea here shouldn't be just oh Captain Dormo. Gods, I beg you, grant me a posting on the far side of the world. Come on, give me something to go on. Oh Downstar, you guys who wanna crash? Say you need something? <clears throat> An unassuming Guamana turns to you with a smile. We got our man! Sniffing Maya passes you a subtle nod. That goes for you or your fetching friend. He smiles at Maya. Hands up! You're under arrest, average uh, Juana Mel. What are you doing? I am getting some air. That's bullshit. No one does that. That's basically saying, hey, I'm kind of sick of you guys. I'm getting some air outside. <clears throat> I'm going where you guys are not going, but not <clears throat> present. 
He gestures to the surrounding port with both hands, smiling all the while. Likely story. Maya folds her arms and studies him. Do we have a problem, friend? Oh yeah. If you're walking If you're walking the corpse who's following Duhana, then we have a problem. Uh, if you're the walking corpse who's following Duana, then we have a problem. Ooh, intimidation! Oh boy, I hope we attack him right away. That that's pretty bad boy right there. I don't know if I'm that bad bad of a boy. If you're if the if you're the walking corpse who's following to Han, then we have a big problem. Nothing about him physically changes, but his bearing shifts from ease to something altogether more rigid as he stares you down. You must have me mistaken for someone else. This is not a name which I know. Maya, take him at his knee. Shoot the wound. <laughs> Damn. Of course it is. You have orders to follow her every move? Maybe he's just a, a hopeless romantic guy. Of course it is. You have orders to follow her every move. I, I just be direct. He pales, glancing left and right in the alarm. No one told me to expect you. There are proper channels to discuss this. His whisper lowers to an urgent hiss. I was the one who argued to spare your life. Don't make me change my mind. That's that's right. That's intimidation, lie. Or go ahead and give us an excuse. <laughs> Maya raises her brow and gives him room to speak. He raises a trembling hand to his mouth and shakes his head. I withdraw myself from the mission. Our cause is too important to chance on my incompetence. I will deliver my report and accept disgrace. Give me my give me your report. On to Anna. I will pass it with a glowing recommendation. I don't know. Can we justify killing this guy? I don't know who he is. Give me give me your report on Tuaha. You would do that? Yeah. He stands straighter, his chest swelling with a hopeful breath. You idiot! Of course I'm not gonna do that. If Twaha is a trading company agent, she has not been activated yet. I found no evidence in her quarters, so I wish to shadow her until her contact revealed themselves. Oh. Stepping back and coughing into her fist, Maya pointedly avoids eye contact. That's all I know. Whatever Rawatai has planned, she might only be a part of it. He shakes his head, frowning. <laughs> Good, now leave the island and never return. I don't know. Do we kill him? This would be quite the scene. Go go away, okay? I tried to temper my bad boy. <coughs> go away. As you say. He nods, taking a last look at Port Maya before turning his attention to the closest available ship. <sighs> well... Duaha, you're being investigated. Is he dead? Or must I handle everything myself? Duaha crosses her arms and waits. Uh, you don't have to worry about your tail any longer. Is this so? Duaha blinks, saving any hope for when she hears of it. Here's it from Maya. We took care of it, just like I said we would. Wanking Maya holds out Atsura's missives. Duaha snatches the papers away with a blur. Glancing over the pages, Tuaha licks her thumb to turn a cheat. She nods, muttering under her breath. Everything seems to be in order. I'll see to it that these are addressed in good time. The edge of her mouth creeps up into a smile. Stalker acted like he was a spy. Maya and Tuaha exchanged an uncertain glance, mirroring each other's uh, frown. That's classified. Oh, come on! Maya rolls her eyes as she and Tuaha say the same thing at once. We should be going. It's been an absolute delight. Maya clasps her hand, but Tuaha winces the contact, at the contact. That's enough of that, soldier. 
Atsura will know your performance was adequate. What the hell? She pulls back, wiping down her palm. And you watch her. Rawatai thanks you for your service. She bows stiffly. Maya, we're discussing what happened here later. I'm telling it right now. Yeah, yeah, I thought we would. <laughs> Shrugging, Maya delivers a hard and meaningful salute to, to Aha, even as the other Rayatai and turns, acting in every way a stranger. Okay, so we did this. Also, we gotta deliver one missive to Harama. I think at this point, we're kind of ready to head out. Can we head out? Where's the ship? Oh, we're talking about it right now. Okay. I can tell that something's on your mind, and I owe you an explanation. Don't keep me in the dark. Maya nods, tipping up her chin and stealing your, uh, herself. Twaha is eccentric, I know. Even in the Navy, I never knew what to make of her. She's insane. You might be asking yourself why one of the tribals would be stalking her. And if that has anything to do with our little mission. Mission, interesting choice of words? What? That... Nodding my size. Atsura is doing important work in the dead fire. He's bringing peace, order, uh, bounty. Not everyone sees it that way, so he has to keep his intentions quiet. That's pretty vague. I know the secrecy doesn't look good, but I can promise you that this is for a better dead fire. Are you both spies? If I pass information from one place to the next, does that make me a spy? Yep. I suppose it depends on what side of the fence you're on. Her stalker wasn't just some creep or thief, was he? Is there anything else you are not telling me? Yes, of course there is and plenty else besides. You think Atsura tells me everything? Whatever he has planned for the dead fire, I'm only a small part of it. But I still need to protect my part. Well, I'm I'm least uh hap well, glad that you told me that you're being dishonest. That's a good first step. Her stalker wasn't just some creep or thief, was he? Didn't we discuss this already? Probably not. Leave it to the Juana to distrust a lone Rawataian who knows her business. Doesn't surprise me that they'd want to keep an eye on outsider business. Or get in the way of it. Alright. You have every reason to be suspicious. Just trust me that this is all for the best. I wouldn't lie about that. Best for who? Let's be out. Alright, we need to leave the city. By sea, of course. Three minutes to leave the city. That's not a long time. So, did the crew repair the ship while we were running around uh, looking for Tuana's secret admirer? Yeah, the ship is repaired actually. So, what else we got here? Dead Fire Merchant? Estulario Partifo? Oh, they hate me. They hate me. He's going for me. He didn't hesitate one second. Close board, no quarters. Ooh, that's a lot of hull damage. Let's do it. We need to get a better hull. <laughs> that's all. At least with the strategy I'm uh, using right now. If there's a ship, uh, that's good for that particular strategy. That well, I don't know. Maybe calling it strategies is a bit too much. But it's it's our approach because I kind of want to avoid the text adventure. Oh baby, there are one or two guys here. Hopefully, we can deal with them. Yeah, let's just go there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's do a heal. So we took damage right away while we were moving. But I kinda don't wanna get overrun. 
So that's the plan. Not getting overrun. Do we have a buff? We do not have a buff. Going for a fireball here is not so bad. What is that? Palagina? Oh, she's... Oh, she's not dead. Yeah. No, he died, but nobody else. Fireball number two. Chance to hit them is not that high. So many guys here. Can we just do a uh, consecration? Let's go. Consecrate the ground. Wow. Maybe after our heal. Yeah, that is really taking a lot of damage. Did the consecrated ground go down? No, it didn't. Let's do the consecrated ground. Looks like everyone is attacking. Palagina! Do we need the buff? Yeah, we do. We're just about to expire. Oh, I actually see it on them. Maybe do a uh, radiance. They're really tanky. Eighty-five defense. Ninety. That's kind of crazy. Can we just uh, go and uh, expose their vulnerabilities? They really should have some. Are they exposed? Does it... This definitely has an accuracy check. Not everyone has it. Damn. I gotta make some progress here. We're not dying, but... We're not making a lot of progress. And that's a problem. Whalian fighter? What is that? What is this fight? <laughs> Can we just do a... A scroll heal on everybody? He's dead again. Nah, we can't win this. And they hate me. And they all of them are S thank you. If not thank you. Then the iron golems. And I can't hit them. Look at this. 80 defense. We're making no progress whatsoever. We're just getting completely overrun. Okay, this is when we left the port. What the hell was that? That was some... What the hell? <laughs> the, how do you know the power level of the guys? Does it show? Is it, the, is it the book they have next to their face? Is it that little icon? That X? Is it the icon? That's... Yeah, they seem to have different icons. So that's probably a very easy fight. Oh, maybe their color. No, I don't think their color 
means that, right? We don't see the difficulty of that guy, or do we? Merchant Sloop is easy. What about this guy? That's easy too. So apparently everything is easy except this guy who's just insane. He's using a galleon and whatnot. And really hates my ass. Alright, let, let's go. <laughs> I don't know. We have to go away. Seems like I can't fight them. At least not right now. The Principi do hate me, unfortunately. Perhaps this is the good time to take a break. So thanks for watching guys and see you next time.